Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 2, basic algebra, 11th exercise. Exercise 2.11, we have simplified. Here, what do you want to simplify? Here numbers, the power is given as a positive, negative, product, quotient in, diff uh, in different types. You want to simplify as much as possible. In this case, how to simplify? The basic rule is, you wanted to write the given number as a prime factor. You wanted to write the given base as a prime factors and then use powers and exponents property to proceed the problem. In the description box, I will give you the introduction of powers and exponents. Just go through the video once before going to start. It will be more comfortable to proceed the problem. Is it clear? See, a very first problem. We have 125 whole power 2 divided by 3. Simplify first problem 125 whole power 2 by 3. Here the base is 125. What is the prime factorization? 5 cube. Why 5 into 5 into 5? 125. So I can write 125 as 5 cube whole power 2 by 3. So I can use the property I can multiply. That is 5 power 3 into 2 by 3. 3 3 cancel. 5 square it gives 25. That's all. See 125 is the base power 2 by 3. Prime factorization I can write 125 as 5 cube. By using the property, I can multiply the power 3 into 2 by 3. 3, 3 cancel. I am getting 5 power 2, which gives 25. Second problem. We have 16 power minus 3 by 4. Here, I have the base 16. 16 can be written as 2 power 4. Got it? 2 power 4. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 8 into 2, 16. So, from prime factorization, 16 can be written as 2 power 4. So, by using the property, I can multiply the power. It will be 2 power 4 into minus 3 by 4. Now, 4, 4 get cancelled. It gives 2 power minus 3. When it comes to the denominator, it will be 1 by 2 power plus 3. What is 2 power 3? Which gives 8. Very simple. Here I have 16 whole power minus 3 by 4. The base is 16. When you prime factorize, it gives 2 power 4. So, I can multiply the power by using the property. 2 power 4 into minus 3 by 4. 4, 4 cancel. What is left? 2 power minus 3. When it comes to the denominator, 1 by 2 power 3. In this case, it gives 1 by 8. Third problem, we have minus 1000 minus 1000 whole power minus 2 by 3. Okay. Minus 1000 whole power 2 by 3. Now, this 1000 can be written as minus 10 whole cube. Can I write? Because minus into minus into minus, minus. 10 into 10 into 10, 1000. Now, I can uh, multiply the power minus 10 whole power 3 into minus 2 by 3. Okay. I can write minus 1000 as minus 10 whole cube. Then, I can multiply the power by using the property minus 10 whole power 3 into minus 2 by 3. 3, 3 cancel. It gives minus 10 whole power minus 2. Okay. When the power is negative, when you take a reciprocal for the base, it will be positive. Got it? Minus 10 whole power minus 2. Take a reciprocal for the base, it will be minus 1 by 10. Then the power become positive. So, what is the value in this case? I have minus 1 by 10 whole square. What is minus power 2? Minus as the base indicates. Very simple. If the base has minus, when the power is even, the output is positive. If the base has with the negative sign, the power is odd number, the output is minus. Because minus when you multiply even times, it gives the result as positive. When you multiply minus odd number of times, it gives minus. So simply remember when the base contains minus sign, see the power. When the power is even, the output will be strictly positive. When the power is odd, the output will be strictly negative. So, in this case, I have minus 1 by 10 whole square. So, power 2, I have a base with minus. So, what will happen? It will be plus 1 1s are 1, 10 10s are 100. So, this is the result. Or I can write here 1 by 100. Okay. Fourth problem. 3 power minus 6 whole power 1 by 3. Okay. 3 power minus 6 whole power 1 by 3. Here the base is 3. Already it is a prime number. Keep as it is. I can multiply the power minus 6 into 1 by 3. It gives 3 power 
3 cancel here 2 times minus 2. So when it comes to the denominator plus 3 power 2 it gives 9. C in this case 3 power minus 6 whole power 1 by 3. So 3 is already prime number so no problem multiply the power that is minus 6 into 1 by 3. This 3 cancel here 2 times so 3 power minus 2. 3 power minus 2 when it comes to the denominator 1 by 3 power 2. So that will be 1 by 3 3 is 9 1 by 9. Is it clear? Very simple. 3 power minus 2 I am getting after multiplying the power when it comes to the denominator 1 by 3 power 2 it gives 1 by 9. Fifth problem. 27 whole power minus 2 by 3 divided by 27 whole power minus 1 by 3. Okay. Here 27 27 are in the same base. I can simplify directly. 27. I will take this one to the numerator. Minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. Got it? Very simple. I have 27 in the numerator as a base. Even in the denominator also 27 as a base. So I can bring the denominator power to the numerator. It will be, it will be 27 whole power minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. So 27 whole power when you take LCM. 1 minus 2 minus 1 by 3. Okay. What is 27? When you prime factor is 3 power 3. Got it? 3 power 3. 3 into 3 9. 9 3 is 27. So I can write 27 as uh, 3 power 3 by using prime factorization. Multiply the power. 3 into power minus 1 by 3. 3 3 cancel. 3 power minus 1. When it comes to the denominator, 3 1 by 3. Got it? Very simple. In this case, the 27 as a base, both numerator and denominator. So I can bring the power from denominator to numerator. So when you bring like that, the power will be minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. It gives minus 1 by 3. And I have a base 27. When you use prime factorization, it gives 3 q. Then 3 3 get cancelled. 3 power minus 1 is left. See, when you multiply the power, 3 3 cancel, 3 power minus 1. So the power is negative when it comes to the denominator, 1 by 3 power 1. Is it clear? So in all the five cases, we simplified the base using prime factorization and we apply the properties of powers and exponents rule. Okay, it will be very comfortable to proceed the problem. Is it clear? Just go through the video once you can understand in an easy way. Thank you.